I've got some insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into these trading methods, we got a couple of different low budget filters for you guys to use to help get your coins up. And as we're getting into this, make sure that you guys do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. So the first one we're gonna be looking at here is really simple and it's been working really well for me. And it's just gonna be Premier League gold defenders. There's so many random filters like this that are good right now because of the amount of SBC content we're getting. So if we take a look at these Premier League gold defenders here, these are currently selling, as you can see, they'll basically insta sell for 700 coins apiece. And these are all like left wing backs, right wing backs. If we go look at, for example, like center backs and see how much those are going for, those are closer to like 800, 850 coins. But in general, we're just going to be bidding on defenders. And since these sell for about 700, 750, we want to bid uh, 600 or less on these. So there's a couple different ways you can go about this. The first way is obviously just your normal way of bidding where you're going to go through and just bid the lowest possible amount you can on every card just like this. Now, I don't use this method, and the reason for that is I just think there, it's such a contested filter a lot of times that you're almost never going to win cards for like 300, 350. People are just going to outbid you. So rather than bidding really low and just getting outbid on a lot of these cards, what I like to do is what we call like bidding a flat rate on each card. So what I'll do is I'll just go through, and I say 600 or less, I'm just going to go through and right away bid 600 on every card. So the idea here is we're going to win a lot more cards. Obviously, it's going to potentially be lower profit per card, but the sheer amount of cards we're getting is going to generate all of our coins here. And you can kind of play around with this. Maybe I start out and I bid 500 on every card. And if I'm getting outbid a bunch, then I'll bump it up to 550. And if I'm still getting outbid, then I'll bump it up to 600. And you just kind of play around with that filter until you're winning a majority of the cards. So we jump in here, we did pick up some cards here. I picked up a Cedric for 350, and then I picked up three more cards here for 550 a piece. Now, you can, for every single card, go through on like Footbin or just compare price and check the prices, because some of these guys will be going for more than others. So Bertrand here will sell about 800, and I can go through and check every single card. Personally, I don't think it's worth it to go through and check every card. I'd rather spend more time bidding and maybe just undersell a card by a little bit. So I don't personally do this, but for example, this Cedric can sell for 950 rather than like 750, 800. So I don't do that, but it is something you can do to squeeze out more coins per card. And I would definitely recommend that if you're going to do our next section of this, which is obviously going to be sniping here. So if you're having trouble bidding, because it is a very contested filter and depending on the time of the day, it's going to kind of decide how many cards you win. You can do sniping as well. So what you'll do is you'll just come to the squad menu because obviously per usual it's easier to snipe from here. And you just go Premier League Gold Defender Max 600 and wow I messed that up. And you just sit here and try to snipe these and you see just like that we picked up an Aaron's there. And I'll quickly just look his price up just to make sure I'd imagine he's not going to be that much more expensive here we look at max aaron's he goes for 850 here so we can squeeze a little bit more coins out of him so that's kind of the idea here it's pretty simple pretty easy and if the prem is troubling you because a lot of people like to use that first league the most popular league which is the premier league you can do other leagues as well you just need to kind of play around with these filters and find what's working for you so if i were to go look at like la liga defenders here what are these going for these are currently about 850 coins a piece so it could be even better with la liga players so i can go ahead and snipe and bid on these guys for 700 or less so it gives me just kind of more filters to do and it doesn't have to just be defenders for major leagues you can go look at left backs you can go look at strikers you can go look at left mids and right mids there's a bunch of different things you can do here this point in the year making coins on a low budget is the easiest it's ever going to be just because of the sheer amount of cards if we go look at like Look at all these cards on open bid that have literally no bids. All these center backs, defenders, everything in La Liga. So it makes it really, really easy just because there's so many SBCs coming out and so many cards fluctuating in price here. So again, I could just sit here and go through and bid on all these La Liga cards and make coins like that. And if that doesn't work, I go do the French League. I do go do the Bundesliga and go find my own filter. Things like that that are going to help you make those coins. 
But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.